Hello, good morning. I think yesterday night was a very interesting night So um, for the US stock market. So this is why I think it's good for me to recap on uh, 26 and also talk about some of the strategy for the coming few days, especially for Friday and also next week. So recap on uh, 26 April on QQQ, that's Nasdaq. My long term, my mid term view, mid term view that is short term intraday to four weeks period is still short. Okay. And uh, on 26 itself, there's two day of drop, and today there's a very high upside. I will share about this in the next slide. And on grab itself, was the intraday to short term duration, retest of support. If break the support at 2.7, then it will go into a range of 2.4 to 2.6. And there's also sharing on the Alibaba, that is the support area on 80 to 83. So today I will go into the QQ and then I will go into Tesla, add in one more uh, component, that's Tesla, which is getting quite interesting on the last two days of uh, falling down quite sharply. Grab, and I'll talk about Alibaba, that is in Hong Kong, the 9988 ticker, and with comparison to A50 China's index. Disclaimer again, this is personal opinion. Um, I'm trying to work on my uh, perfect my trading at the same time share with uh, the community here so that at least we can uh, share our view, we can improve on our trade and we can also make some uh, money together. So with that, let's go into QQQ. So yesterday on Thursday, you can see that QQQ actually went up about 2.72%. And it come back to the resistant area that is previously at 3.2. And the next resistant area that you can see is about 3.34. So it hover down, cut across that MA moving average, and then it's going to retest the 307, but it was supported at this area, the 313 area. So volume wise, I think for me, at looking at the current, we have form 1, 2, and 3. So let me go into the pen itself. So it went up, come down, and it's retesting again. 1, 2, 3. So is that there's high potential. I think there is a probability that it may also break the 320 especially in the last two days where the uh, earning report that's coming from Microsoft, Google and uh, Meta, uh, which have reported quite nice result, which uh, market was uh, talking about, and it sort of uh, pulled out the QQQ itself. But in the longer term, in the so-called longer term in the short term, which is intraday to four weeks time, my thoughts process is still to short, right? And I will take my short, uh, and if it's going to move out further, in very small position, in a small position at different pricing of QQQ, and plan for it to drop back to 313 or potentially into the 307 area. And that's what I'm going to do you know, for the uh, next, uh, next four weeks time. Do notes, FOMC on the interest rate will be coming in on next Wednesday. So looking into Tesla, Tesla is uh, interesting. There's a hit a height of uh, 200 plus, and then you go into a lower height, and there is a drop here. I think that is between the uh, 170 to 180 region. So if you look into the support, I would view that uh, the support areas will be around here. Right. So basically, it's about uh, 130 to 140. I think about 130 to 140, uh, it could be an area that I will start to uh, neighbor. I will start to deploy some fun. Uh, I wouldn't chase at this 160 because uh, if you look into the QQQ Nasdaq index, right, uh, it have went out quite a fair bit due to the good earning report of the big tech. And next Wednesday, Next Wednesday is going into uh, FOMC. So there's a lot of uncertainty. Depending on the FOMC, 
depending on Fed uh, discussion. So that's where I think that there will be some fluctuation. But the fluctuation now looking into the movement into the big tech and Tesla, I would say the current uh, correction have been uh, so called a bit of a uh, soften and there's a potential to stabilize at this area before the next form are going to be formed out. Do take note Tesla report have already reported. So I don't think there will be uh, quite a fair bit of uh, uh, fluctuation here. So let's see. Looking into Grab, in the last uh, talk itself, I talked about Grab retesting, you know, retesting the resistance over here. And let it really fall, then it will actually go back into the resistance area of 2.4 to 2.6 range. Do note that uh, for this chart, I'm using a one hour chart. It seems at this moment, uh, the grab itself, if you look into here, it start to uh, stabilize, moving a little bit out. If QQQ is able to pull out further, then potentially I think uh, grab will stabilize in the 2.7 to 2.8 uh, region. Potentially, it may actually revisit this area here into 2.9. It may. You can see the volume that is uh, happening after the big drop, you know, the drop, the big drop from 3.2 to about 2.9 have been uh, quite small. Yeah. So do not, I think Grab is at this region, the lowest it have been was about 2.1, 2.2, and they have went out all the way to about uh, even higher than $4. Recently it was hovering in the 3.2 range and then it break down with a higher volume to this area, about 2.9. And now we have a further drop here, but the volume have not seemed to be you know exceeding the previous volume. Look like stabilizing about 2.7 area, about 2.73, revisit about 2.73 for about two times and we bounce back to 2.8. And uh, today is uh, closing about 2.79. Very interesting. Do note, great grab report is coming in uh, 21 days. So uh, before the report, it's already signaling quite a, a, a downtrend, right? Downtrend, but stabilizing at this moment. Next, let's look into Alibaba. I think Alibaba wise is uh, the last stock was uh, there will be a support at 80 to 83 dollars. And you can see that Alibaba on uh, Hong Kong, uh, before today market open, yesterday was uh, closing about 81.8 and it's in this region. In this region. Is this going to be a, a strong support? Mm, I don't really feel that it's going to be a strong support. It could be a weak support because if you look into the A50 from China, the volume can be is also quite uh, low. So basically the whole market over here in uh, the China market where they have a big run uh, from uh, November when the big bank are calling that uh, it's uninvestable all the way to Chinese New Year and then there is a sudden uh, rotation on sector. It seems now that uh, it's coming into uh, areas that is uh, quite uh, directional, I would feel. So unless there is some uh, market movement or, or government movement to support the market, probably this is going to be a weak support. Let's see, because tonight we will, we will today we will see from Hong Kong for 9988 ticker, whether there will be a strong movement side. I probably think that, you know, it will go into a around plus 3%, 2 to 3% high of uh, uptick. Do not Alibaba report is going to come in in the next 28 days. Is it going to do a similar uh, situation as what we've seen in Microsoft, in, uh, in, uh, in Microsoft, in Google, in, uh, in uh, this uh, meta, where you know when the report come out, there's a big jump in the pricing? Perhaps, maybe, maybe, right? Perhaps, maybe, right? As you can see that, uh, Maybe the pointer over here. One out, down, out, down, up. Downtrend, up, revisit. Is it going to form a bottom here? 
maybe, but again, it's a weak support. Okay. In short summary, I think for Nasdaq, um, the resistance is quite clear about 312 to 314, and the next uh, support area will be in this range of 304, 307. In my intraday to four weeks period, I'm still looking at this uh, area. Four weeks period probably will go into uh, the end of May or even like early June, right? Again, uh, there's always a market saying that uh, sell away in May. Is that going to be true? Well, let's see. Let's see. I think there will be some fluctuation coming with uh, FOMC on next Wednesday. Yeah. Tesla support 130140. Grab seems to be stabilizing, you know, at 2.7. If it break the 2.7 area, then it will go into 2.4 to 2.6. Right. And Grab uh, report is going to come in in the uh, next 21 days. Right. And uh, it's interesting to see that before the report, you know, there's a coming down trend that's selling quite uh, furious from 3.2 to now about 2.7. I open to opinion, you know, on how we look into Grab because Typically, Grab is also one of the bigger tech stock that is in representing Singapore. Alibaba, I mean, is a weak support, 80 to 83. Can I do a small rebound at this point position to earn some uh, coffee money? Perhaps it can be. Um, take note that uh, Google, Microsoft, Meta, they have a strong run after the earning. I'm not, uh, I have not looked into the fundamental uh, analysis closely. Welcome your comment also to leave it behind and talk about Alibaba as well. So in short, not forget to like, put your comment. I think I would like to hear from you on what is your thinking process of uh, NAS Nasdaq, uh, Grab, and also on Alibaba. Um, do subscribe uh, because I will be making some uh, frequent report, especially on Sunday and Wednesday. But today, I actually sort of uh, think uh, that it's good to give an uh, update. Because uh, looking into Nasdaq, we have now hitting the 320 area side. The QQQ hitting the 320 area. In short, 320 was uh, visited twice before. You see from the chart, it was uh, not able to broken. Were it broken this time now? Stay tuned. Let's look into tonight. And of course, uh, thank you. That's all for today.